Hello everyone, today in this video we are going to see how to install GCC in a Linux machine. Here I am using Ubuntu 22.04. So the first thing to do is would be to search for GCC releases. So right now I am doing that exactly right now. Uh, you can see uh, GCC Linux releases and this is a tar file. So once we click on the uh, link, we can get basically the GCC page and in the GCC page, we can have uh, uh, basically mirrors. So we would probably open the uh, mirror site and once we open the mirror site, we will be greeted with a lot of mirrors and we have to select which mirror we like. And currently I'm going with an HTTP one because that one uh, the browser will support otherwise you might have to use files allow some kind of FTP client and once you download it uh, It might take a few moment to download it Depends on your internet connection. It's not a very huge package as you can see just 200 MBs ish at max So yeah, and the source files are actually pretty big So uh, when you think about it like you know if you want to build it you have to have at least 20 GB of disk space free because uh, not just the source files, the temporary files, everything will take around 20 GBs. The source files may take, uh, give or take 1 to 2 GBs, I guess. But temporary files will take a lot of space. So once we are uh, ready with the tar file, we have to extract the tar file. To, for doing that, we will do tar minus xvf, the tar uh, file. And once we do that, we will get all the all the data in the directory so basically this tar file already has a directory inside that is the reason why it is uh, being extracted into a directory but by default uh, it extract to whatever directory we are already in so present working directory you can extract the tar with a different command if you want and after that you have to install some dependencies so here you can see build essential shell stop stop is something like you know task manager you can see on the right then GCC multi-lib is being installed. So once that is done, you have to configure with this particular command. Uh, this thing you can get it from uh, GCC verbose equal to, uh, I mean GCC hyphen hyphen verbose. If I basically picked it up from Ubuntu's own uh, compilation parameters. And I'll actually link these all uh, commands in the description. So you can technically refer those if you really want to. So once we are uh, uh, compiling, it takes a lot of time. Uh, so currently, uh, this is the dirty build which which I am showing right now. Uh, and why am I building dirty is because uh, it takes a long time to build it. So I just wanted to give you a feel of how the build will look like, how the output will look like when it is properly building. But I don't want to take too much time because I just have a four core machine with a hyper threading so you can see eight threads there or eight cores there uh, but uh, only four physical cores do exist in this machine and i'm also offloading some of the work to another machine uh, one of my friends machine using disk cc uh, but uh, yeah uh, details of that is not part of this particular video so as you can see once the build is done you will literally be greeted with the uh, command line so currently it is building ashan which is address sanitizer and once that is done we will meet a moment or two i guess so there yeah, there you go it is done now we can proceed to do a install so we will do make install and that this this will actually like uh, we have already set a prefix in the configuration command so if you see the configuration command uh, you will actually see that there is a prefix which we set and that prefix uh, is where this is going to install and also we have set uh, library directory and so many other stuff to dollar home slash gcc so this that is a place this is going to install I don't really recommend you to install uh, the GCC directly into the root directory because it will replace whatever GCC you have in the system and that is not a good idea. 
by having the gcc inside a uh, additional directory inside the home directory uh, you can technically switch between gccs and also like uh, totally avoid this gcc if you really have some issues or something like that um so yeah uh, that is that is all it is i want to also say that uh, in the configuration stage we have only configured for objective c++ objective c c and c++ uh, the reason being like uh, all the other uh, languages some of the languages uh, will require uh, some other dependency and i don't want to get into that like uh, it is a little bit complex compiling for other languages also so as you can see the install has completed now we can modify our uh, i mean now we can create a file called enable environment uh, so first of all we will do the shebang as usual and once we do that uh, we can proceed with setting the environment variable so let's start with uh, yeah, like you know ld library path and i accidentally type ld preload that is uh, yeah just mistake so ld library path equal to uh yeah i just thought about why not uh, we can have a gcc installed there so now we are having gcc installed there and uh, ld library path which uh, uses gcc installed there as well as path everything uses gcc installed there this way you can change the path of the gcc install if you want uh very easily actually so uh yeah c cxx cc cxx these are uh, uh, the compiler where the compiler is we have to specify path specifies we have to look for uh, executor binaries and ld library path actually specifies where to look for the libraries so if you are uh, you know like basically it's for the loader so oh, as we as we have already set ld library path library path and everything we can technically source that uh, environment variable and uh, I mean, sorry, the script, environment script, and that will basically set all the variables into environment. You can kind of see that uh, GCC is already set to 12.2 now uh, because we have modified the environment. I'm just going to create some test C++ files. So uh, going, I mean, you know, basically print hello, basically. Uh, for C++, obviously, it is C out, while for C, it is printf i'm just going to show you just compiling that and once we compile it you can see that uh, the compiler works now uh, just to prove that uh, the the thing is actually using the newer gcc and also uh, it is a G c++ versus uh, c binary i mean i can technically give minus o but i didn't give minus o here but anyway let's do a ldd of uh, the a dot out and once you do that, we can actually see that the uh, std c++ library is linked to the new GCC. So that is that really means that this is using indeed uh, the new GCC. And you can see G++, uh, you know, C++ standard library is linked. Otherwise, uh, it is basically linked to C. So yeah, uh, that is that is all. Uh, if you if you like this video, do subscribe to my channel. Uh, Please leave comment if you have doubt on this topic, I guess. But other than that, uh, stay tuned for more videos and yeah, that's it.